guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to a brand new promo call. I'm so excited to share with you some of the bits that I got. I went to the Manchester City Centre one, and for me, that is the one that carries the best stock. Trafford Centre is a lovely experience. They've got a nice wellness section. They've got okay stock, but they don't have the full range, you know? When you go to a big city centre Primark, you just can't beat it. So I've got some amazing bits to share with you. So if you're not already, make sure you're set and cozy, relax, like hands or put your feet up, get some snacks, get a nice cozy drink. Let's get into the haul. We did unfortunately experience a bit of a casualty, which is not the most ideal when you're walking through city centre with these bags. I was literally carrying that one. Then the other two were like breaking my arm, like digging in. I'm gonna say it again. I've said it the previous past few hauls. The homeware range in Primark is just upped its game massively. So I did pick up some more clothing items but i did also find plenty more homeware bits as well to share with you i feel like i'm just gonna go in the order of the bags okay this is actually a repeat purchase loved it so much last year i wore it to death got another one let me just move you down a bit and brighten you up a bit there we go it's got a bit dark outside all of a sudden i wore this jumper into the new year we got a puppy in the new year knit wear and puppy claws not a good combination so i ended up destroying a few jumpers in those first few weeks of having barney but this is in a large it's 10 pounds and it's just a really nice cream high neck jumper really great for layering with just a good versatile piece that one so 10 pounds i think is well worth it because i literally did cost per wear for that item last the last one that i had pennies by the end of it pennies so well worth it this is a new purchase that I also picked up and this is again in a large I got this one in an oatmeal colour and it's a little knit vest which I thought would look good with a um, you know a shirt underneath to dress it up a little bit. I feel like I'm lacking nicer outfits. I mean I live in t-shirts, oversized t-shirts and leggings especially as a dog mum and walking every day but the more and more we're going out and about to blogging events that are starting to pick up or even a day out shopping in Manchester and you just want a little something out of the usual t-shirt and leggings kind of outfit, I feel like I'm lacking on. So uh, yeah, I decided to pick that one up and I thought £10 was pretty reasonable but I would always layer that with a, probably a shirt underneath. And then I also got this vest knit which is more long line i got it in a medium 12 to 14 at 13 pounds and it's got a nice kind of button down detail to it in this dark uh, brown tortoise shell it's got pocket details but yeah the fact that it's long line it's definitely very different to that other one that i've just showed you and it's a really soft but thick knit this one really really great quality and probably worn as a dress you know like with a shirt layered up underneath it or even on those kind of end of summer into autumn days where it is actually still kind of warm and maybe some cream leggings in fact i have some cream ribbed leggings i got from all neutrals that would look really nice with this even just kind of relaxed outfit again just something a bit different to the everyday and then i got this uh jumper dress which uh, I just thought it would look lovely as an outfit in itself, but yet comfortable at the same time. So I picked it up in a medium, £15. It's again in that kind of oatmeal, almost light grey marl as well, kind of colour. So it is just a knit dress. It's kind of midi length, I'd say. And it's got this kind of trend crew neck, like just sports neck, polar neck type neckline but yeah the kind of collared design what do we think are we liking that trend with some black knee-high boots into autumn winter for a nice pub lunch plenty of space for a food baby with that i think 15 pounds is a pretty good price point for what is essentially an entire outfit i've noticed they have some what i would say is high street dupes i'd say of the kind of sports luxe vibe so they had these um caps these caps in and it says your potential is endless i picked up a good little basic this was only four pounds i got a medium and it's just an oversized tee to be honest with you i'm lacking these kind of tops actually to sleep in so i kind of picked this up as intention of a pajama top 
four pound, it's a good price point, but it is a good little basic white tee to wear out and about anyway. So I got that in a medium. And then I also got this in an extra large and it's just a, um, at eight pounds, it's just a basic top in this beige mal kind of color, which I thought would be good to wear with leggings, slouching, it's super, super soft fabric, really, really co cozy and comfy. And I love the fact that it's got the kind of dip low hem, shorter at the front, longer at the back. It's a style that I tend to opt for quite a lot, so I do love that. It's only three pounds, Velcro strap at the back. And again, just for out and about dog walks when your hair needs a wash, I tend to opt for a cap quite regularly to be completely honest with you then i also picked up this in a 2xl so it's nice and oversized again with leggings this is my typical leggings t-shirt dog walking outfit that i was talking to you about so it's in this green which i'm kind of loving at the minute if you've been following along our renovation journey we've gone for bold tiles in the top floor this kind of forest green color and i'm loving it so yeah this just says sunday sports club that kind of sports relaxed fit tennis club kind of um theme because i did size up to 2xl it is nice and oversized for me to be able to just wear this with leggings i do actually have some khaki leggings which i thought this would look nice with again just for lounging around the house stop walking everyday outfit and this was only four pounds you really can't go wrong it's really soft as well this was actually in the underwear shapewear section it's a bodysuit thong bodysuit as well which i love so that you don't have any of vpl and it's kind of a scoop neck but also scoop back it's a really thick rib so it's going to be supportive but not only that it's actually got hidden extra support on the inside so it's like a bra inner so you've got that extra layer on the front so you could definitely comfortably go braless with this even more so than the zara bodysuits and that's saying something so this was priced at seven pounds but then they put a six pound sticker over the top of it so i'm guessing this was six pounds i got it in a small 10 to 12 i think i'm gonna find a new good basic in that one they did have it in a nude but had they have had it in a white i would have also opted for the white but i just feel like it's gonna be one that i'm actually gonna have on show and i can't imagine me having a nude one on show then a couple of underwear bits and also accessories i got this hat this beanie hat which oh this is just giving me all the kind of Christmas market feels. Just, just sipping on my Bailey's hot chocolate with, oh my God, they have this stand in Manchester that do grilled cheese sandwiches, but they're not just grilled cheese sandwiches, they're grilled mac and cheese sandwiches, and they are just the best. And then Tom is a fan of the coconut macaroon stand. I like the pancakes and the waffle. Are we gonna have Christmas markets this year? I assume we are. We really did miss out last year, didn't we? Anyway, we've gone off on a tangent for what is essentially a beanie. A nice thick rib beanie in this stone kind of colour. I love it. It was only £3. Just some good basics. In a medium at £5, you get a three pack of two nude and a white. And then I actually got this set. I very rarely wear bras. Like I wear kind of triangle bralettes crop tops type things but this set i thought was really really nice so the bra part is everyday luxury wireless hence why i got it this was six pound for this bra so again a really nice ivory shade that i feel like would look less harsh than a white so that's the bra anyway and they had matching briefs and thongs which were two pound fifty i got them in a medium <laughs> this is probably a bit tmi i saw lydia from fashion influx talk about these she did a primark call or talked about it on a vlog recently period underwear packs i think i'm gonna wear these at night time which is when i feel like you know you don't have to wear a tampon, you don't have to wear a pad, it's just nice and comfortable to sleep in. They had different size, different styles, they're kind of pricey for what they are, but essentially if you wore these throughout your entire period, then you're saving on buying tampons, pads, whatever you opt for. So £16 this is for a set of three, kind of a lot. This one comes in a set of three with two black and one gray and now we're on to some homeware goodies which i'm so excited to share with you some amazing plans honestly it's the homeware that gets me most excited these are three pound fifty each they are drawer organizers and they had a few different sizes i went for these ones because they're quite flexible in that you get a set of three they're actually a linen canvasy kind of fabric really really nice pretty 
looks good so yeah i picked up two of them at three pound fifty each and then i also got some microfiber cloths now we got some smaller cloths for cleaning with and also these larger ones as tea towels they say but i actually think i would use these as big microfiber cloths you know for cleaning with sometimes it's good to have a big one like especially for bathrooms and things if you're doing a floor this pack of four at three pound fifty and it comes with a kind of brownie colour, a couple of cream and also this camel nude. And then the microfiber cloths actually come in a pack of five and you get that same cream, cream, camel, brown, but then you also get this patterned one on the front. So yeah, £1.50 for them. I picked up this two pack of glass with a rattan that could be used as a tumbler for drinking out of but also i thought it would look quite nice as a little candle holder these were five pound for the set of two i got some pumpkins oh this one's probably my favorite this ceramic pumpkin weighty good quality ceramic six pounds this one was i'm honestly regretting not picking up more than one but i just thought you know limit yourself hold back refrain just get the one for now and i just love it so simple yet so beautiful and then they also have these which i got to go alongside it which is actually a miniature pumpkin with a little gold lid that is in fact a candle it's a really nice scent as well actually it's in the scent autumn leaves it's not a you know sometimes some of the pumpkins scents can be a bit sickly and sweet this is a really nice i mean autumn leaves fresh earthy really nice scent so this one is four pounds okay this is new in in primark and it's definitely it doesn't seem like primark it seems like zara home to me that's the vibe that they're going for a lot of the crockery and everything it's honestly beautifully designed so this is eight pounds and it is a ceramic ridged water jug they call it but i think it would look good as a vase with some pampas grass whether or not you want the uh pouring part on show or kind of hidden behind and this kind of ribbed fluted design is definitely something that i love and the fact that it's in a really pretty stony beige kind of color it's just what it sets it apart from if it was just a box standard white honestly beautiful really really impressed with that and can't wait to style it up so they also have these dried flowers in they have a load of foliage flowers wreaths in fact i even had a wreath in my basket which i second guessed and thought no i'll take it out i'm actually glad i did because i saw one in bnm that i love so it was meant to be anyway but these are beautiful you could definitely kind of um do a little display of these or you could pop them in a wreath I was thinking within this it would look quite nice and this was £3.50. They also had different coloured ones, I just went for the natural coloured one. Something that I again saw Lydia haul in her Primark section within one of her videos were these dinner candles but she had them in grey and I think they had another colour as well but I opted for the white and I love the kind of twisted design, you just snip them when you're ready to burn them and again this is something that like Zara Home would do for a hell of a lot more than a £1.50 for a set of two. I got some more incense, this one in particular, I already actually have one of these incense burner holders but I suppose having two isn't a bad thing but um, I mainly got it for the actual scent of these ones. Cedarwood and orange sounds amazing and festive. And then this one is just the cedarwood. So this comes in a 20 incense pack at just a pound, this one. Whereas this one is £2.50 because you get the actual little holder with it as well. And like I said, this one is in just the cedarwood. And then last but not least, another home fragrance purchase. One of these little room sachets that I love using. Pop them in drawers, gym bags, downstairs loos, wardrobes, wherever. This one is in the scent Autumn Sunset. So how could I miss out getting this one? Peach and Nectarine. I find like autumn scents actually tend to be quite fruity. 
So that is everything that I picked up from Primark this time round. I hope you enjoyed this autumnal Primark haul. Christmas is fast approaching. I've noticed on social media they've been hinting at some of their Christmas stuff. So I'm excited to shop all of that. They had some amazing gift ideas last year. So if you don't want to miss out when I eventually get around to filming that video, make sure you are subscribed with the notification bell on. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And I will leave all my Instagram handles down below should you wish to follow me for more regular updates. Thanks so much for watching and I hope to see you all very very soon in my next video. Bye guys!